Hey everyone, have I here, Bruno Vidor on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be doing my breakdown and some fun little team builds, of course, for the LR Dokkan Festival exclusive Ultimate Gohan. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So yes, it is not Beast Gohan, it is Ultimate Gohan that we're talking about here. And uh, it's an interesting unit, to say the least. Definitely very divisive in a sense of uh, the disappointment that Beast Gohan is not technically playable and not a transformation unit but as i actually went through building this this unit's actually really good and he's actually one of the best leaders that you can actually have in the game so we'll talk about that when we go into the team build so let's start with the card art which eh, it's not that great the ssr card art is probably one of my least favorite ssr card arts for any lr it has that, of course, the CGI look from the movie, things of that nature, but I, they could have chose something different and made it look a little bit, I don't know, just better. <laughs> so the TR is not bad. I actually like the TR uh, a lot more than the SSR, but generally, like the SSR is usually pretty hype and pretty good as well. But anyway, the LR, on the other hand, looks amazing. So um, the Ultimate Gohan here with the Beast Gohan kind of in the background. That was a big kind of indicator where, well, is it going to be a transformation? Is it just going to be active skill? And unfortunately, it was the later or the latter. And um, yeah, it's disappointing to say the least. But again, as you play this unit, as you kind of look more into this unit, it is a good unit. We just wanted it to be better, right? So let's go ahead and look at the stats first. The HP is 22,000. The attack is 22,400. Very strong. Defense, 21,000. 131 let's make it a little bigger so you guys can see so the leader skill here this is really what makes this unit actually very impressive this leader skill is probably one of the best leader skills in the game it contains superhero which is the new category which is basically dragon ball super like the anime the series and the hero units right the super units on that um on that category and it's a really really nice grouping of units that you can run and then also they added hybrid sands this right here makes it work really really good due to the fact that hybrid sands has a ton of support units because gohan's generally a support unit uh, outside of like ultimate gohan's and things of that nature i think even ultimate gohan's there's some you know support units in there as well so all together this hybrid sand just made it works so well with superheroes and this is the main category key plus three hp attack and defense 170 percent and then the 30 percent is really good as well i figured it was going to be a double but double double leader skill uh, of course they added movie heroes it makes all the sense in the world and then the bond of parent and child this is a very large category and basically makes it just work all together here so I'm very, very happy about the leader skill. And when you see the team build, you're like, wow, it's actually, yeah, it's probably one of the best teams in the game that you can run. So the super attack greatly raises, the 12 key greatly raises attack and just raises defense. So this is a 30% boost here with the 50% SA multiplier. Causes colossal damage to the enemy with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. I don't even know why they added that, I guess. If you're running on like, I know Super Battle Road, stuff like that. This is going to be beneficial, but still, I think all, all in all, they could have had a different, um, you know, a different effect here. So that's the 12 key explosive demon flash. The ultra super attack does have a better, a little bit more useful, in my opinion, for the effect here, lowers attack and defense. But this also, I like what they did here. It, they just ended up doing the greatly raises attack and defense versus just raises defense. So from the 30% to 50%. So if you double super attack, you're going to get a 50% boost and then a 30% boost, which is really solid for the stats and everything that we're going to talk about in a second. So this causes mega colossal damage to the enemy and then lowers attacks defense here. So here's the passive skill. This is the beyond ultimate power. There is an entrance animation and the entrance animation makes a lot of sense because it's what, it's what it is in the movie when it goes ultimate and it's fine. It works out generally fine because the bond of parent and child it's a, such a huge huge category this should trigger very easily and then you're gonna get attack and defense 100 percent and guard against all attacks for the first three turns so right there you get to start to build up because there's a kind of a building mechanic here uh, but i don't know because I, I, you need to do what how many you need to do five super attacks 
to build up here. So this could be a little bit uh, problematic if you don't get enough super attacks off before this goes away, right? So the rest of the passive here is attack and defense 150%, so that's flat out uh, available there. And then an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. You see a lot of Gohans with this, like, like uh, LR, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, right? So that is kind of a Gohan mechanic there. So that's nice to for you to get the Ultra Super Attack. And plus, we're going to talk about his links in a second. It's That's not very good. So you kind of need this here. Plus an additional attack and defense 30% with a Super Attack perform. So this is the problem right here. Super Attacks, uh, you need to do five of them basically before these three turns are done. And that will get you your additional 150% boost. Now, you do launch an additional attack and have a great chance of becoming a super attack when your key is 20 or more. I really wish they would have just made it a guaranteed because of this dynamic here. But it is a great chance, which is 70%, so most likely you're able to get two super attacks off. And, uh, and then attacks effective against all types when activating active skill or when key is 24 um basically 24 maxed out there so and then you have a high chance of nullifying key blast um a super attacks directed to the character so this is useful of course this is absolutely useful here but i think if they should have just did the like 24 key would have been a would have been a guaranteed super attack and then 20 key with a great chance if they would have did that i think this would work a lot better but you do have that little tiny instance where if you do miss out on doing five super attacks before the three turns fall out, then you're kind of susceptible a little bit before this is all built up. So anyway, the active skill here, the disappointing active skill here is basically the uh, special beam cannon from the movie. And uh, it basically greatly raises attack and causes ultimate damage to enemy. And then disables enemy's action in once uh, within the turn. So this this is definitely beneficial. Um, you know, for like the end game, if you want to have that disables enemy's action. So you do kind of have that little benefit here. So it makes the unit, again, I would say this unit is more of a second slot or floater unit, which is a shame. Definitely not a first position unit. Now this can be activated when all allies attack in the same turn as superheroes, which it's mostly possible there. And then characters starting from the third turn of the battle, that's that you can activate that. Or facing one enemy from the start of the turn at the sixth. This is probably when you're going to use it mostly anyway. So, uh, so I don't really mind the uh, active condition here. Now, link skills. They kind of fumbled this a little bit. Um, all in the family, same warrior race, in fire, shocking speed, command, may have fierce battle, and power. So shocking speed is really not necessary because it's just overall he doesn't link well, you know, with you know with those you know saying lineage would have been a lot better um something else versus shocking speed prepare for battle of course you know would have been bit more beneficial so uh, that does present a problem with links uh he doesn't also he doesn't link anywhere well with the lr piccolo which we'll talk about in another video anyway the links are a big weak point here another strong point though are the categories he's on a ton of categories hybrid saints uh, full power, transformation boost, movie heroes, Goku's family, Kamehameha, Subing's Bond, Bond of Master's Disciple, Exploding Rage, Connected Hope, Miraculous Awaiting, uh, Battle Fate, which was added later on, Bond of Parent Child, Warriors Raised on Earth, and Superheroes. So very, very good overall. And um, I think we were just so disappointed at the issue of Beast Gohan not being quote unquote playable or available in a transformation. That we kind of missed the, you know, I don't want to say missed it entirely, but uh, we're kind of downplaying how actually good this unit is uh, in all scheme of things. Primarily his leader skill and his categories, right? Passive skill could have been a little bit better on certain dynamics there. Anyway, let's go ahead and move on then now to oh, we'll t quickly talk about links. Yeah, doesn't really have a good strong link partner. The person who is a good link partner. Uh, is not available on the team that he's running, which is the Krillin, uh, LR Krillin and Gohan. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, not going to go over a best link partner there. But let's talk about building the team. So, the teams here, interestingly enough, I I'm going to run it different than I normally do. Generally speaking, when I'm doing these team builds, they're like the main, main unit. As you can see here, he's in a second position or he's floating. Again not optimal for like the unit the main unit 
but because the leader so 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 good and the combinations that you can run that's the reason why you're putting it off rotation here so uh, so let's look at the team first and foremost the team is this team is fantastic just just look at it in awe right so this is a full 200 percent team here and yeah <laughs> there's really no holes right so if you build up if you build up gamma one and then of course lrgg is in first position you're gonna do fine right and then you're gonna have piccolo as a second position and you have gamma two yeah this team is rocking and rolling here and then ultimate gohan as a floater this is super super strong I, I think this is definitely one of the better teams if not the best team that you can run in the game right now um defensively and offensively you know put together especially you know if you can run the pan and the pan's going to be you know support for most of these units here you know gamma one gamma two he's not they're not like bottom master disciple and stuff like that so you're not gonna get some extra you know the extra boost there but when you actually look at this unit here you can say you know what let me drop that off and put maybe high school gohan on here he has damage mitigation and then um you know 30 percent for all super class so either one you can run as a support but just look at this unit <laughs> you look at this team in, in its full glory it's an amazing amazing team now you have a lot another reason why this is one of the best teams in the game is that you have a lot of other options that you can run at 200 percent and a lot of these units aren't easy aid yet so there's a lot of lrs that are probably going to easy aid really soon next year that's just going to make this team better and better and better now we don't know the details for the gogeta blue yet or the super saiyan gogeta that transforms into gogeta blue but when that information drops i'm sure it, it could be one of the you know good units that you can run on this team here so um so yeah it's very very strong so this is really one of the reasons why you want to get ultimate gohan not necessarily for the unit of itself but the team that you can actually run is quite amazing so there are a couple 170 percent units like vegetos that you can run on here but it's you know you're better off running at 200 percent. so just kind of keep that in mind and if you do want to run gohan in a, in a main rotation you're probably better off putting him with you know the transforming ultimate gohan the tech gohan now he of course has to build up so you're gonna have to do that or if you want to bring in another unit to um to tank in the first position you're gonna do that and then you're gonna put like the gamma gamma one in kind of the um the floating position or you can actually just keep them in the main rotation there um with gohan it just doesn't make any sense because gamma two links up so well with gamma one you're kind of missing out on that as well so anyway uh, it's still overall fantastic. Now, if you do want to run Gohan in main rotation, it's going to look more similar to something like this where you're going to need some support. So, you know, Gamma 1 can go into a support slot down here, but, uh, you know, generally speaking, you know, you're going to put him in second position, Ultimate Gohan, with Piccolo and LRGG in first position. That's probably going to be the best bet for you. And uh, again, you're going to probably have to run as a full support. And unfortunately, if you're running like super hard content, this is probably not the route that you want to go. You want to keep Ultimate Gohan in the floater position. So, and then finally, you can actually create a full Gohan team. So here's a full Gohan team here, and we're doing also triple support here as well. Um, you're gonna run that Gohan, Ultimate Gohan, Ultimate Gohan uh, rotation. But then, you know, if the AGL Gohan ever EZAs, and you know they might EZA for JP pretty soon. Um, this is going to be an amazing unit that you can probably put in first position uh, if they do that unit correctly. So, yeah, all in all, uh, those are the teams that you can run with them as a, as a leader. But, of course, just a reminder that this unit does have a ton of categories. And you can run them on a multiple different amount of teams, do a ton of super battle roads, things of that nature. So, I think a closer look at this, this is still a valuable unit overall in general for game mode effectiveness, things of that nature. But his his advantage is really that leader skill and the amount of categories he's on passive skill definitely could be better and uh yes no transformation into gohan beast but this is just an lr ultimate gohan so anyway with that let me know what you guys think about this unit here in the team builds let me know what teams that you're going to be running in the comment section below and if you're new to my channel like subscribe do all that good stuff thank you all for watching keep on doconing and we'll catch you next time later